Hey everyone, it's Duke here at Developer Inspires. Welcome back to Daily Challenge. In this Daily Challenge, I'm going to show you how to use the UI visual effect so that you can create a nice blur effect like this. Now from this Daily Challenge on, in the my newsletter at developerinspires.io, in some of the video tutorials, I will include um, very small projects and that focus on just one single iOS feature so that you can use in your project okay so that because I think that it will be more beneficial to you and maybe um, it will be more focused as I use a long project before so now you can download the comp um, the starter projects in you can download the starter projects here and then I open the starter project okay and now I will drag out a UI image view in main.storyboard. I will search for image. Okay. And just like that. And this starter project actually it has only one image and that's it. Okay. And it's it's just my philosophy that if you want to learn anything new, you should start from scratch to learn doing from scratch. So as always we have a new project. And for this, I will auto comp, uh, auto layout this, and I will pin this. I will uncheck the constraint to margin, like that. Okay, and add four constraints. Now I will select this one and select the image to be the only image we have, and the mode maybe aspect fill, just like that. Okay. So now I will go back to viewcontroller.swift and viewcontroller.swift is the view controller attached to this U, um, UI view controller in the main storyboard, right? Now I add a to-do here so that you can see that uh, what we need to do. I will add the blur effect view in the view view did load. Okay, so let's do that. The first thing we will need is a blur effect. So I will have let blur effect equals UI blur effect style and the style is dot or you can use UI blur effect style dot maybe light okay and then we will need to add have a blur view so we do let blur view equals UI visual effect view and we will need to add an effect for that it is the next designated the designated initializer for that okay I will show you that in the um, header file later on and then we will add the blur effect okay and let's see what we got here we cannot evoke initializer something UI blur effect style um, all right so we just need that and this one is the blur effect. So we just need the UI blur effect. Okay. And to be clear, this is UI blur effect style. It is, let's control and then add, hold the comment and then click into that. UI blur effect is actually just enum, enumeration. And it has three cases. The first one is extra light and then light and then dark. We are using light here. Okay. And UI blur effect is a class. It inherits from UI visual effect. Okay, and then the designated initializer. It, you need to pass in the UI blur style effect style. All right. Okay. So now all we need to do is set the size of this, uh, the frame in the bounds of this blur view, and then we will add those in the view. Okay. So I would do blur view dot frame dot size equals cg size and we will have the width let's say um, 200 height maybe 250 250 the height is also 250 okay and then we'll set the center let's say we want it to be um, center in the view blur view dot center equals view dot center and that's it now we will add this to the sub view to the view as its sub view. So I would do view dot sub view. I'm sorry, add sub view, and then we will do blur view. Okay, 
And that's it, believe it or not. And then I will run it on an iPhone 6. Okay, so we have this. Look at that, right? All right, so that's it. <laughs> All right, so let's talk a little bit about this. Why, where do I find this? Well, we have the UI blur effect and actually the view. We can do the UI visual effect view and hold the command and click onto that. The UI visual effect view inhibits from UI view and it will it will has the initializer. You will need to pass in an effect which is UI visual effect and then we'll click into that how to create a UI visual effect, right? So UI visual effect inherit uh, it conforms to this. It is an NS object. Okay, and down here we have UI blur effect and it is a UI visual effect. Okay, so we have the UI blur effect. And then we also have the UI vibrancy effect, right? So that's it. The way that you go over the documentation and see it so that you can understand the code. I hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial. Leave me a comment or question below and I will be reviewing comments and answering questions personally. If you want free iOS courses, visit me at developerinspirers.io. Create an account and join our free courses. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, create new products, and contribute to the world.